what's up guys, Labs here and in this video guys I want to show you how you can actually transform your iPhone 6 to the 6S. So obviously we will not get the i9 processor or a better camera but the, all of the features or most of the features will be added to the iPhone 6 and it will look just the same as the iPhone 6S. So with that being said guys, let me go ahead and show you how you can do that. So the first week on the list is the Pika Boots week which actually adds a 3D touch support to our iPhone 6 and that might also work on the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5 plus iPhone 5C when the jailbreak will be out for them. So guys as you can see right here we got a full 3D touch support on iPhone 6. I'm not long pressing or doing something else, I'm just 3D touching on an icon and then it gives me some 3D touch options. Now you may ask me how's that even possible? So basically it is reacting to your finger so it measures how much of your finger is on the display so when I have for example just a little part on my finger right here it will just say that I'm trying to access wiggle mode right now but if I press a just a little part of my finger on the display and then apply some more force so the more part or the most part of my finger will be on the display then it will say that now I'm accessing 3D touch so you may take a look at that real close so let me do this once again yeah so that works like that as you can see I have to move my finger a little bit just to make it work perfectly now to install this tweak all you have to do is just go to Cydia and add this source right here it's called a repo.insendlight.com so to add this source you just basically click add it here then click add and now type in the name of it and then click add source now this will add source and now you need to go back to search and now search for peekaboo peekaboo right here now click on this now click install and install once again then you're gonna respring your iPhone and it's gonna appear on your home screen but if it doesn't work right after you install it guys you just need to go to settings now scroll down here and then click on peekaboo and now set this settings here and of course enable this tweak to make it work on your home screen the next thing is about live photographs so as you can see right here I got it installed and enabled on my iPhone 6 so I can go ahead and disable this one and enable once again to make a live photograph and let me do it kind of a demo for you guys so let me do the live photograph and now play it just to you so I got, I got to long press right here in order for it to show it to me so to get this feature all you have to do now is just go ahead and search for it in Cydia it's called live photos enabler you already got this source which provides that tweak to you guys you have added this previously so now you should have live photos enabler so you may go ahead and install it right now and now the live wallpapers so I basically have it right now on my iPhone as you can see it's the same type of image it's the same type of animation here we can basically just 3d touch on display to make it work and it's again and again I'm saying that this one is the iPhone 6 and I actually got a lot of options on choosing a lot of those wallpapers so if I go for example here to wallpaper now choose new wallpaper live and now I got a lot of them so all of these from the iPhone 6s are available to me guys and I can just go ahead and set any of them so at the lock screen alright so let me go ahead and show it to you right now okay so now 3D touch and as you can see it's playing this really amazing animation. And now to get these beautiful wallpapers for the iPhone 6 you just need to go ahead and go to Syria and now search for the tweak that I will show you in a minute. So this one is called Live Wall Enabler. This one actually enables those live wallpapers on your iPhone 6 and it's probably only compatible with the iPhone 6 at the moment. And also you also need to have a uh, live wallpapers for the iPhone 6. It will also be there in Cydia. This is the same type of source that provides all of the tweaks in that video. So don't worry about that. So you need to basically install this one and the, and the one that I've shown you before. So this one. And then reboot your iPhone on Respring. It doesn't really matter. But after that it will work for sure. And now finally the last part that will actually transform or fully transform our iPhone 6 into 6s is the Hey Siri function. So guys so I'm saying this not loud just because my iPhone now is listening for me and is searching for this word Hey Siri. And if I say this oh no it's activated now guys but you can actually go ahead and toggle this one to while well, charging all always as you can see it's now on always it's just like on the iPhone 6s you got these two options and you don't have to be uh, ch charging your iPhone in order to activate Siri so now when I say hey Siri hey Siri 
Now this activates Siri and it just looks really awesome. And now to add this amazing always on Siri mode, all you have to do is just go to Siri and now search for unfeathered hey Siri tweak here. Now go ahead and install this one, then respring your iPhone. And all I have to do is just go to settings, now go to Siri options general, Siri, and now allow hey Siri. And then you will be able to set it up and now click on always and this will always listen to you. So that's pretty much it guys for today, I hope you like this little iPhone 6 to iPhone 6s transformation video and if you want to see some other transformation videos like iPhone 5s to iPhone SE then don't forget to thumbs up on that video and I will do this for sure. Anyways guys if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do this in order not to miss any video and this was Alex with you from Tech Labs and we're gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.